No, no, Daddy. I don't want to be the next David Beckham. <coughs> mm, fine, I'll do the modeling, but nothing else. I'll marry Victoria, too. <laughs> Um, um, please don't kill me, David. I was joking. <laughs> oh. Oh. Why are you in my bedroom? Did you redecorate this place while I slept? Uh, we're not in your bedroom. Oh, was I sleepwalking again? Oh, no. I'm naked. And you want to get your claws into me because you can't get enough. Uh, nope. We were in bed together? I hope are you saying we were in bed together. You mean something not disgusting, like us sleeping together? What? Oh, come on. You'd want to bet me. I pretend to be a horse in every sexual encounter I have. It's framed a lot of fine women. Don't want to be disturbed by me. Trust me, I'm very scary. I gathered. <sighs> so why are you upset? Um, I just thought I meant something to you. Whoa, don't go there, please. Uh, uh, uh. Go where? I'm not going anywhere. Why not? Don't tell me I've chained you to the bed again. If I have to call the fire department again because of this, they'll think I'm a leader of a cult or something. <sighs> Open your eyes properly. Mm. Hmm? Oh, uh... Look, we probably got drunk and then fell asleep in the same bed. That was all we did. I hope. Uh, I desperately hope so. Uh, you desperately hope so. You know what I mean. You and I would be like Diana and Charles, or one of the Muppets' soft toys against a live fox. So, let me get a clearer picture of all this. If we date, you'd think what? I think I was chained to one of my rails as an asteroid hurtles towards me. When it comes down to it, I won't date you. Oh, is that because you think um, that I'm ugly? Th that's not what I'm saying. And I think I'm starting to dig a hole for myself. <laughs> no, 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 no. Let's talk this out. Okay, hun, you're beautiful. Just not to me. I like my women to be normal. No, that what? doesn't sound right. I, I, I should have said sane. Damn it. <sighs> yep, I am fracking myself towards the centre of the earth. Oh, I'm beautiful, but I'm also insane for thinking you would ever date me? Is that what you're saying to me? Uh, no, of, of course not. Oh, no. I, I, I can't say another word or I'm going to say something offensive here. I, I know it. Ugh. <sighs> Why do you look so disgusted at the thought of being with me? I, I'm not. I, I just, I don't want to think of my best friend as a sexual object. You're calling me ugly, Thomas. Look, okay, this is getting out of control. Let's calm ourselves. I usually rap a two-pack song to calm myself. Here we go. <laughs> All right, I'm, I'm kidding. I, I can't actually rap. Then explain to me why you wouldn't date me. Is it because you think I'm ugly? No. With, wait, with a massive nose like I have, I win that contest of who wants to beat the ugly person on the planet. Now, excuse me. We will discuss this further, Massimo. If that's the case, then I'll stick a pin in my ears and make myself go deaf. Oh, hey, I made you break. What the hell is that? Uh, it's me. Wearing makeup for you. Do you not like it? Does it make me ugly to you? Would you cry if I said a little bit? Oh my god! I'm you... kidding! I'm kidding! You, you know this whole debate is like a cat trying to scratch a car door, right? So I don't look ugly to you? What are you trying to prove to me? That there's a worm in your brain controlling your headspace? Because if that's the case, I realise that I do by every second of this chat. I'm trying to prove nothing. You claimed I wasn't pretty enough for you to date, and I'm disproving that. Sure, but you should know booty shaking to hip-hop is the only thing that would win a date with me. Not that, uh... 
Uh, and you're dancing for me. Well, for the record, this act is blowing my mind as well as scaring me to death. Am I pretty? Yes, you are. And if I were any other man, I'd be doing unspeakable things to your beautiful body. Ugh, that sounded very wrong. Yeah, only because you're lying to me. Let's just move on with our lives. So, you like me then? I like you. I want you as much as a catwalk model wants to eat cake. Not a lot. I'm sorry, but it's a fact. That's all. Well, I also like you like... Uh, well, I I like you like... Uh, okay, I, I've run out of ways to like you. Okay, well, I like you like... Uh, a pal who I watch Virgin River with. Um, a man that never forgets to cover me when I fall asleep. Ooh, I do sound dreamy there, don't I? Oh, face it. We're more than friends. Well, you do irritate me too. <laughs> By doing what? Look, I don't want to fight with you. Why? Because I know me well enough to know I will say something so wrong that it leads to a Brucey like fight. <laughs> um, eh. I'm not finding your jokes funny. Do you think I like telling my jokes? I'm a man desperately trying to spare his best friend's feelings, and apparently that best friend is you. Hmm, I think I need better friends. <laughs> hmm. By the way, you're doing an excellent job of sparing my feelings. <laughs> oh, come on, it was a funny joke! Have you completely stopped finding things funny? Why is this funny to you? Ugh, it's not. I'm just trying to keep our friendship intact. Right now it's like a car without brakes rolling down a hill. Okay, the car's heading towards a pond and no one's going to get hurt. So it is safe to discuss this. Now start talking, jerk. Fine. It, you're attractive. I would date you. Whoa. <sighs> Huge shiver went through my body. I'm sure it's not connected. <laughs> so, you date me? Uh, yes, I would. Now, I need to go in that corner and start pulling out my hair due to stress. And it's unrelated to this chat. See you. Why do I feel you're about to throw another grenade at me? I've been thinking about what you said. Hmm. So it's confirmed. It's Groundhog Day, and I'm reliving the same nightmare over and over again. There's no escape for me. You don't find me sexy. You are only saying it to end our debate. Okay, you saw that, but you're not smart enough to stop making me feel anxious. Okay, I'm just going to say that best friends don't sleep in each other's beds. Well, we did it once in the three months you've been living here. It's not exactly a repeat event like walking a dog. <gasps> Am I a dog now? Oh no, I, I need to leave right now. You're on the warpath today. You're a robot working at the speed of light to put ammunition in your firing cannon of hate. Uh, do you remember what happened last night? Uh, let me see if I do. We had seven vodka shots, so uh, have a guess, genius, if I do. You told me I was the most beautiful woman you had ever set your eyes on. Wow, I must have been drunk. I'm joking. Stop frowning at me. I don't think you're joking at all. Oh, no, it's confirmed. This situation has become a circus act, and I'm going to jump off the tightrope and hope for death. We did have sex, you know. What? We had intercourse last night after you told me the beautiful line. Look, I, I need a shower. I can't comprehend any of this rationally until I do. <sighs> you idiot, Thomas. How do I look? You look beautiful. But I should warn you... I wore the same dress the other day as a joke, and I looked even more prettier than you. Just saying. 
<laughs> so you're a RuPaul wannabe now. And that notion has just disappeared because you just lowered your eyes to my boobs. Okay, that's enough. There's an attraction here. So I'm starting to gather and hate myself in the same process. So how would you like to proceed? I want to proceed by saying I'm willing to have an adult discussion about this. Okay, no tantrums. I've got it. Um, is screaming at you also classified as having a tantrum? Yes, and how do you never lose your voice? I've seen your comedy sets and you shout a lot. How do people not hate it? Are the audience members your cousins? I can neither deny or confirm that. <laughs> <laughs> Ugh. The chat will be two adults having a conversation to decide if they should be together or not. I think I like those stipulations. If by the end we've decided we shouldn't be together... Will I have to move out? Are you kidding me right now? You think I'd move out? No. I mean, look, if we decide we don't want to be together... Both parties agree on that decision and accept it. There will also be no games happening while we chat. OK, I'll try to be mature about this, but... Ah, oh, come on, you know me. Might be tricky. OK, and before we start, I want you to know I love you with all my heart. You mean more to me than anything or anyone on this planet. And that saddens me because I thought I treasured way more people than just you. Ugh, I need new pals. I'm ready. Just remember that our friendship can't be on the line for this. Uh, for a laugh, I'll say, why the hell not? It can't, because it's too vital to me. And I never thought I'd say that out loud. Boy, you've done a great job of brainwashing me into liking you. OK, I'm going to make a case for why we should be together. And I'll make a case for why we shouldn't. And may the best woman win. Men are emotionally strong, so I'm confident I'll win this argument. Oh, yeah, sure. Y you will. Oh, get us some wine. Just get ready to have your mind rocked. I doubt that it will. We'll see if it's true. Are you ready to tell me why we shouldn't be together? I'm ready. I've got my flamethrower, and I call it the mouth of dislike. <laughs> <laughs> what the hell was that? <laughs> I, I, I have no idea. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm ready whenever you're ready. I have nothing but love for you. You mean so much to me. Every day you've been in my life, you've given me hope and joy. Um, even that time I had a bad curry and wiped your toilet seat with your favourite towels? Okay, most of the time you have given me hope and joy. Uh, okay, well, what else do I do that's good? Mm -hmm. Your smiles ease me into my day. Whilst your smiles push me to want to hide the fact that you've got spinach in your teeth. Yeah, okay, I think I'm more horrible than we both thought I was. You're not. Our talks make me desperate to have more of the same with you. So, my voice doesn't chafe like a buzzing bee? Huh. I need to work harder on my voice to make sure it irritates you better. Well, you've kept me fed and alive. Well, I did try poisoning you with my cooking, but I think you've got some superpower antibodies that cure you. You teach me new things every day. Ah, OK. So, uh, who's Kylie Jenner? She is Kim Kardashian's half-sister, and they have a reality show on TV. Ha! I do teach you the important stuff. And you, my dear, sing to me. Ooh, what you want, baby, I got what you need. Do you know I got it? <laughs> <laughs> oh, you do. You have everything I could ever want in a woman. Everything. Uh, but I'm sensing a but. But you're a friend. Is, is that all I am to you? 
You're the only friend I'll ever need. I could be so much more. I couldn't risk our friendship. <laughs> really? Is it, is it that good? Wow. More amazing than I ever thought we were. <laughs> well, hang on. Yesterday, when you were shouting at me for not lifting the toilet seat, yeah, I could live without you. <laughs> but now that you've thought about it? I can't. This bond is for life. I want... No. I need you in my life. Forever. <laughs> and... If we got together? Well, there's a considerable risk I could lose you. And you don't even want to try? I'm not strong enough to take that risk. Okay. Uh, those are good points. They're structured. If I didn't know you better, I'd mistake you for a TED Talk speaker. <laughs> and let me guess. You now want to turn into a lawyer and contradict my points. <laughs> Sorry, honey. I have to. Okay. But before you take the stand, I need to change my shirt. Why? Well, I'm anxious, and I'm sweating like a skinny kid about to be rugby tackled. <laughs> Are you ready for round two? I think so, but go easy on me. I'm a newborn penguin. I want you to be eaten alive. <laughs> okay. I love you too. Uh, why does it frighten me when you say it? <laughs> I don't know. I think I use my scary voice. <laughs> yeah, that must be it. <laughs> okay, you also mean so much to me. Though not when you're hoovering at 9am. Who's not awake at 9am? People who do comedy shows at 11pm. Well, I'm sure you could find earlier slots. If you were that good of a comic. Anyway, every day you've been in my life, you've given me laughs and sometimes shock at how stupid you are. <gasps> how dare... Wait. Mm, I am funny and stupid at the same time. Yeah, I'm okay with that. Okay, you've never hit on me. Because you're not attractive to me. Okay, at least pretend that I am. Fine, I'll try to. <clears throat> oh, hubba hubba, who's this sexy mama giving me that lovely stare? <sighs> I forgive you. Yay, celebration dance time. No. Damn it, you ruined my mood. Mm. <sighs> anyway. Another thing I love about you is well, you've welcomed me into your home and you never accept any rent from me. Well, I'm always hoping you'd pay some. At least. Please do. I need money so bad. I have huge gambling debts and bad men are trying to kill me. Help me. Sad face. Nailed it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> um, <laughs> yeah, no. I won't. Uh, ever. <laughs> I'm not too fond of this friendship now. I also love the fact that you've taught me how to love myself. Have I? Jeez, could you explain how I did that so I can't try to do it to myself? Everything you are to me makes me want to be in your world. And I think if we were to turn it into a relationship... It uh, would <laughs> end up falling apart. And... Me probably killing you after your affairs. I wouldn't cheat on you. Hey, I know you, and I know myself. There's no way in hell I could stop you from cheating on me. No way in hell. Just make sure the guy's less sexy than me. Anyway, I, look, I think we could be the next uh, super couple. The, uh, the uh, Kim and Kanye of the UK. Um, what if we break up like they're doing? Ah. Oh, I, I, I don't know. Could at least say we could give it a shot. There's still that major risk. I could lose our friendship. and It's too valuable to me. How am I saying that without puking? Well, I think a relationship is about taking giant leaps of faith. 
you don't know if you'll still be together in your old age, but you still leap, hoping you will. I want to take it. As I take that leap, I could have wolves looking at the other end of the cliff. I don't know if it's safe or worth it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> what should we do to rectify your concerns? You got the podium. I, I, I don't know. Okay. Um. Okay. Let me give you for fifteen minutes to think about it, and then we'll discuss it further. Does, does that sound okay? I guess, but I doubt I'll change my opinion on this. I thought about it.、Uh, yeah, about that. I have two, and no. <laughs> let let me speak first. You're gorgeous. Right. Before you say another word, and just... I can't think of another person I'd love to be in a relationship with, and I've searched hard, really hard. We didn't have sex. I, I made the whole thing up just to mess with you. Oh, okay. I, I've thought about it seriously, and I believe you and I aren't <laughs> compatible about this. I love your lips. They, they look like I enjoy kissing them. I'm going. No, you will not kiss. Yeah, I don't know. I thought I could get away with that level of stupidity. <sighs> look. I, I want you, Maddie. Oh boy, your love noose is starting to tighten. Death awaits me. <laughs> also. I never thought I'd confess this, but I see kids with you. I mean, I don't know if you'd be the mom to them because since I've known Kylie Jenner has been alive, I've always pictured, you know, her taking that job role. Okay, this is getting out of control. Well, she'd of course be the surrogate mother, and we might sex it up too. I mean, we can't rule that out. I mean, it'd be madness. It simply would. Okay, stop it now. We could ask your sister to be our child surrogate mother instead of Kylie Jenner. If she rejected us. I'm sure your sister wouldn't mind doing that. <laughs> My sister, a mother of teenagers, wouldn't mind being a surrogate mother to a baby of a man who she calls a dick. <laughs> I am living in an alternative reality where dumb things are spoken in a constant loop. You know what? The more I think of this, the more I want to wreck my life by being with you. I'm going to celebrate that thought by some assaulting. I think. Please, don't. Although you might break your neck, and that might get me out of this bear trap I've created for myself. I do. I want this so much. Oh, would you look at that? My neck has snapped off from the rope. A question for you: How many times would we have sex on an average week? I'd like us to do it at least ten times a week, or fifteen on a good week if you're lucky. Wink, wink. Ugh, us. Having sex, me having intercourse with you. Ugh! There are so many ways I can say yuck, but my body just wants to shiver. Ah, look at you pretending it's turning you off when in reality, the tap is warm with our burning love. And okay, that made zero sense. I might be so excited that I'm talking nonsense. This, my dear, this is love. Oh, look, enough! Just enough. What is it, Honey Bun? I think Vegas、oh. can marry us by the end of the week if we book our flight now. I'll do it. I don't want to be with you. What? What are you saying, Honey Bun? Just that. I can't be with you. But I've already programmed the thought in my head. I'm sorry. I don't, and this whole situation has been one giant mistake after another. It's like coming across a box of cookies when I'm hungry, and that actually means I'm ravishing the whole thing. Or, in our case, making you my uptown girl. Don't sing, please. I wasn't. That'd be pathetic. 
Oh, heck, we both know I am. Be as awesome as ever. Here we go. Uptown girl. Sing along now. Uptown girl. I've changed my mind. I don't want to be in a relationship with you. You were right before. Our friendship means more to me than any relationship could ever do. I love you too much to ruin this. So, do you mean to tell me you've changed your mind? How can you be sure it's not just pre-sex nerves? Oh, I just have that feeling. Were we about to sex it up? Or was I just dreaming it up like a weird fairy tale? It's that. Oh, I just had a vision. It can't turn into a fairy tale. It simply can't. Again, I prefer a friendship with you. I would die in a relationship with you. Like, die like I'd never existed. And you couldn't tell me that before you got my hopes up. Hang on. You couldn't tell me that at the start of this whole thing to save me the trouble of loving you so darn much. Are, are you kidding me? Love? How sad are you? The clear answer is very. Very? But that's not the point. The point is, I'm in love, and I can't be with the woman of my new dreams because she's developed an allergic reaction to me, apparently. Wow. <laughs> this has moved way faster than I could ever have imagined. Oh, well, so what should I do now? Just forget everything. So we can go back to being best pals who love each other without sex, destroying their happiness. Ugh. I... I need fresh air. Thomas! Come on! Massimo! Please, don't speak to me. I'm sorry, Mass. Welcome back! A glass of wine for you? And an adult tickle fight to follow up with it? Please, don't do it. I'm not in the mood. And even if I was, I'm not 29 anymore. I'm 30. I've matured. Well, that reminds me, have you seen the teddy bear I sleep with? It's gone missing again. Oh, just drink your wine. It's that expensive one we bought in France. You mean the one stolen from a truck that turned over while the driver was lying unconscious, bruised, and battered? Ah, he survived, didn't he? Oh, boy, I'm a terrible, terrible person. I'll never be a nun, that's for sure. Or go to heaven. He just about survived, no thanks to you. Uh, look, I've made this a special dinner. Why don't you take off that suit jacket I often call cheap? And yes, I can still insult you even when we're having problems. Hmm. Anyway, just sit down with me and let's eat and relive happier times. Can you think of any? Off the top of my head, I can't. Hmm. Ooh, remember that time you forced me into declaring my love for you, only to crush me with your rejection? Uh, nope. Don't remember it. Must be developing dementia. Well, wasn't that like Sting was serenading us with? Those were the best days of my life, or...? I think you'll find the song is by Brian Adams, and it's the best days of our lives. <sighs> oh, come on. I'm, I'm trying here. We both know our argument isn't that terrible for me to be trying so hard. I got a call an hour ago. My half-sister wants me to see my newborn nephew. Half-sister? You've never mentioned a half-sister to me before. Is that because you got scared we might become best pals and then cut you out of our lives? Yeah, I have a half-sister. Hmm. Damn it, you do. Well, one of these days I have to switch on my hearing aid. Are we done here? That was a funny joke. I deserve a laugh out of it. Anyway, I, I better go pack. Oh, just tell me how I can fix this. You can't. Goodbye. The only way you can get my forgiveness is to set me up on a date with Kylie Jenner. 
Well, I wish I could, but I can't. And anyway, if I could, I think I'd be the first in the queue for her gorgeous love. <sighs> I know you imagine us together. So what if I am? I'm a man. It's natural. <laughs> Jury's still out for that man claim. <laughs> um, are you struggling to carry that? Do you need some strong arms for it? Here's a handy tip I learned from Popeye. If you kiss your arms, they'll naturally get more robust. Ugh, okay, that's a lie. Just wanted to embarrass you for the fun of it. Move out of the way, Maddie. I'm willing to have an adult discussion about this. Did you not say that to me? We're done here. Yes, you did. You said it. I also said, if we decide we don't want to be together, both parties have to agree on that decision and accept it. Oh, so you want to lock me up in a dungeon and have me be your girlfriend now? Huh. I like that for us. I don't want that. I never wanted any parts of this at all, in case you've forgotten. But someone insisted. I know, and I was stupid for it. How can I fix this? I need to leave and put some distance between us. And when I come back... Maybe we'll try to move on from this. Okay. That's fair. At least you're not kicking me out. I was getting worried. I'll be back in four weeks. Four weeks? That's a long time away from each other. Can we at least speak to each other on the phone? Um, let me think that over. Nope. Fine. Then, I need you to know, I'll miss you. Um, I'll miss you a lot. I can't say the same thing. <clears throat> I, I never meant for it to be like this. Yeah, well, I never meant to fall for you either. See you in four weeks. I'll miss you. I'll miss you a lot. <laughs>